Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. A bit over a year ago, I went on holiday to Australia to visit family and friends. And I stopped by my old art store while I was there and picked up a couple of these little aluminium painting panels to bring home and try out. These panels are really strong and light, so they were super easy to travel with at the time. They've got a stiff foam core and two different finishes of aluminium on either side. In this video, I'm going to paint on the side that has the more raw looking finish. And in another video soon, I'll try painting on the other side with the smoother finish. I wanted to try these out because I live in a very humid place now and these won't warp. They also don't need to be primed before you paint on them. I gave mine a little sanding down, especially on one edge that was a bit too sharp, and then I gave it a clean with some of my citrus brush cleaner before painting. I tend to use oil paint in lots of thin glazed layers, so this was painted over the course of about a week or so, waiting for each layer to dry for a day or two before starting on the next one. Because I didn't prime the surface, I found that the first couple of layers slipped around a little bit more than they otherwise would, and I think that that's something that you could really take advantage of if you wanted to. This surface was really easy to draw on with coloured pencil, which is what I like to use for my underdrawings in the blocking out stage. I use coloured pencil for this as it blends really well with my oil paints without bleeding through. I was also able to easily remove little sections of paint so that the aluminium shone through early on in the process. On the whole, I really enjoyed painting on this panel and it's definitely a surface that I'd consider using again. When this painting is dry enough, I'll scan it and sell the prints on my Redbubble shop and in about six months or so when it's completely dry I'll varnish it and put the original up for sale on my website. I have a bunch of artwork for sale in those two places so if you're interested please go and have a look. Another way that you can support my videos is to head on over to my Patreon and sign up there. No amount is too small and every little bit of support adds up. And if you do sign up to my Patreon at one of the higher levels, you get to download a high resolution artwork each month. This little cordon bleu finch will probably be one of those artworks in the next few months, so keep an eye out. I'm going to stop talking now and keep painting for a while instead. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've listed all the materials that I've used in the description and you'll also find links there for my website, my Patreon, my Facebook, my Instagram and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.